Hi guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. I am going to attempt to do a cloud pour, but um, I'm going with some Sarah Taylor colors. I haven't, I usually do very bold, bright colors, but I want to try um, some of her palettes. So I have, uh, this is Modern Masters in uh, Champagne. And I, this is Amsterdam Expert Series in Naples Yellow Red Light, which is like kind of a, on her, one of her last videos, Gumtree, she had like this peachy color and I'm like, it kind of looks flesh tone and that's exactly what this looks like. So I thought, hmm, I'll try that. And I have Modern Masters and this is, um, ooh, fair, no. Ferris Gold, and it's also mixed up with some Golden's Iridescent Gold Fine. Don't know if I'm gonna use that or not. This is my Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold. And I have Green Gold by Golden. I don't know if that's too thick or not. Let me see, just a little bit. Where's my water? You've gotta make sure that your paints are all at pretty much the same consistency. And this is, these are fluid paints too, golden fluids. This is um, Golden's Thalo Turquoise. This is Golden's uh, Violet Dark, Permanent Violet Dark. And I added a couple of other things in here. I think there's some red. Um, yeah, just to make it that plummy color, which I've never really used. And this is, actually it's um, Liquitex Basics Payne's Gray, mixed with some Prussian Blue Hue from Golden's. So let's get started. We are going to do the Deco Art recipe this evening. I should say this morning. <laughs> And we're working on the Grandeur collection. It's a 14 by 14 uh, gallery wrapped canvas. It's taped and pinned. And I prepped my canvas with this Artist Loft Flow White, just to make it a little tacky. I have been uh, learning a lot from Sarah, from a lot of other artists. Um, I've, oh my gosh, there's so many artists I have gained knowledge from and I can't I can't thank everybody enough um, it's just a wonderful I, I just love painting and I love this technique so I'm flooding my canvas now with my deco art satin enamel mix the cloud mix and this canvas takes 8.5 ounces that was a nine ounce cup it was not full and I'm going to tilt this off, making sure I don't have any, anything that is going to hang it up, like a, any crusties from the, um, the paint container. Just making sure my edges are all taken care of. Now, here comes the fun part which I have no clue, I'm not, I don't have a plan. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That deep blue, that was Charvin Indigo mixed with Payne's Gray. That's what that was. I have a few Charvin paints I've had them for quite a while. And um, they're very expensive, they're very pricey. Um, they're really unusual colors though. So here we go, wish me luck. <laughs> I'm going to start with, now I'm gonna try and go light on the colors here. Okay, this is the champagne. Then I'm going to do, I think I will do just a drizzle of gold. Paints are already starting to react. Then I'm going into my 
for knock it down nickel azo gold. I love these little containers. Got them at um, Michael's for 99 cents. And then, which is the green gold. You know what? Hmm. I'm gonna save the green gold. I am going to put down the phthalo turquoise. And then I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the flesh tone. Okay, that's enough paint. Michelle did it again. <laughs> I'm going to use the other colors for um, enhancements. Um, I might put a little bit of this. Yeah, what the heck. Yeah, there can't be enough color, right, Michelle? All right, so let's tilt this out. Um, let me torch it first. Get Mr. Fire out. I like this color palette so far. I love that um, Kunakudo Nickel Azo Gold next to the uh, turquoise. It's always been a favorite. I know what she means by the flesh tone. That is really so sweet. Sweet. Got to make sure you get enough paint off the canvas. She didn't want it pooling, creating problems later on. Wow, this is a very unusual palette. I don't even think that Sarah's done anything like this. <laughs> okay, still moving, still moving to get that paint off. Because there's still a lot on air. Not a whole lot of negative space left. Yeah, we'll figure it out. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that for, for an I'm going to, if I'm on, Time lapse. I'm gonna try and slow it down for you guys so that you can. You know, I'm gonna need to tip this a little bit more just to get some more cells. And there's too much paint on here. And I don't mind going off that side with the, the turquoise either. There we go. I really like that um, permanent violet dark. Add some dimension. All right, cool. That's better. I just, I would hate for this piece to end up cracking or flocculating or all that good stuff or bad stuff, I should say. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put you on time lapse. Hi guys, I'm back. Well, this was quite a journey. I love it. I didn't, it still ended up to be pretty bright colors. Well, not bright, bright, but you know, um, I've got the turquoises in there and the greens and I'm just, yeah. Look at those. 
with those cells. And I added this line in here. And I, I ended up swiping with some Amsterdam um, white and Aussie Floetrol right there. So I wasn't, I, I wasn't liking what was going on. It was just too busy. And uh, I kind of overworked this, this part, but I really, I like the end result. I really do. And it's got some dimension. And these guys look like little stars. <laughs> Anyhow, and I put some, uh, the purple, the, dark, the permanent violet dark that I put in here, um, it kind of faded into the white, which is really a nice effect. I, I really like that. And then this was a swipe early on too. I did the swipe with the um, with the Aussie Floetrol and Amsterdam White, the cell activator. I don't know if that's cheating or not, but I don't think so. Not in not in art. So hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please be safe and create. Until next time, ciao for now.